State Senator Tanya Shootmaker, the Republican, is from. She's here uh, in front of our AT&T microphones right across the street from the Capitol. Welcome back. Thank you. It's great to be here. Very sorry to hear that your summer is going to be a little more complicated. It is. Uh, they are, we're going to be in all summer until we get this road situation figured out. Um, it's not like you did nothing all summer, right? I mean, you, there was work to be done in your district. That's certainly true. Uh, one thing that people don't realize is when we're not here in Lansing, we're usually out serving the residents of our district, doing meeting with people, and half our work is constituent issues. Yeah, so but now you'll be here uh, on select dates anyway. And uh, isn't it uh, illustrative that the Senate is considered the de more deliberative body so you announce you're going to come in and work on it. And the very next day, the House Speaker comes forward with a plan when there was supposedly no plan B. Here's his plan B. What does that say? What does that not say? Well, I think it's a great thing that uh, we're moving the ball forward because certainly our infrastructure is something that needs to be addressed. I had a Senior and Veteran Expo on Monday, and if there's one resounding message I heard, it, it was from people that said, figure it out, fix our roads. And I think there's yeah. some... Uh, basic things that we can figure out is to reprioritize our budget, uh, certainly uh, look at, you know, what are the, the trends in terms of, you know, what we need to address that infrastructure and, and come up with a solution. Hmm. Um, we're going to talk with the House Speaker, Kevin Cotter, after the top of the hour, and then Tim Grimal will be here, too, the Democratic House Minority Leader. I don't know if you've had a chance to look at their proposal yet. Uh, the I, you know, I haven't looked at it, but uh, yeah. I rode home with uh, Representative Nesbitt, the floor leader over yeah. there, and he was kind of telling me about it. So I yeah. think it's a, a very good start. Who uh, was driving? Uh, Representative Nesbitt was. Okay, good. So while he's telling you all this, you probably could you fall asleep uh, in the seat, right? <laughs> That was actually, a great I, conversation. This, this tells you what a nerd I am. I actually hung on every word. <laughs> you loved it. Okay. <laughs> was there anything you liked and anything you didn't like? Uh, well, certainly, you know, it's a, a step in the right direction, and it's finding a solution because I think people are, are really upset uh, that uh, we haven't figured it out, and a core function of government is our roads and our infrastructure, and we need to be investing in it. All right. Well, you're investing, too. You know, when I was younger and we used to go to Kmart, if you remember Kmart, they had the blue light special. They did. And when they would roll that thing out, it would be a sale in a certain part of the store. You have uh, something very different called a blue alert that you're introducing, and you've brought along uh, Harold West with you here, too, who is the police chief at Kellogg Community College, a detective and past president of the FOP. He Welcome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Well, what's a blue alert? A blue alert is similar to an amber alert. So when you have, uh, it's National Police Week, uh, so uh, congrats and thank you uh, to all the the people in public safety that really keep our lives safe. Um, and uh, so this is really to honor them and to make them uh, more protected, uh, similar to an Amber Alert when uh, a police officer is killed or uh, seriously injured. This will uh, have set up the protocol like an Amber Alert to let the public know, to let other police officers know about uh, uh, who the, the person, the suspect is, uh, so that they can be easily apprehended and not go out and uh, commit any more crimes. It's a, a certain kind of person that's willing to uh, attack or shoot a law enforcement officer. Wildly dangerous, unpredictable, I would think, even more than the average criminal. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is great legislation, and we really support Senator Shootmaker for her efforts in getting this through. Uh, we may not agree on everything, but we have that relationship with her, and, and she really is looking out for us, and we appreciate it. It's a, been a complicated few months uh, for law enforcement. Administrations, and then on certain occasions we see the riots and the problems. And I think that the media needs to do a better job in getting the correct information out before people start formulating opinions and we run into problems. It is interesting now that every seems like every person on earth has a camera in every situation. Everybody does, but if you're doing your job, it doesn't Shouldn't affect matter, you at right? all. Not at all. So therefore, are you a proponent of, the, of these body cams? Or, what is it, shot spot, that sort of thing I've been hearing about? Yeah, we, we support uh, the body cam, uh, and I think that in the long run it will help us. It was just like when uh, the in-car recorders uh, came out that there was a big uproar about it and everybody yeah. was a little uncomfortable about it but it turns out that it was probably our best buddy because it showed a lot of things that you know we were having to testify to now you can see it on camera and I think the body cams are probably a good thing for us also um, but you have to understand that it doesn't show everything that we may see as officers as trained officers when we see the muscle flex or the mm -hmm. jaw tighten up mm -hmm. which is an indication to us that 
you know, something's going to happen, and the body cam's not going to pick that up. So mm. you just have to be aware of that. Yeah. So it's a, it's a help a little bit, but um, yes. it doesn't have the instinctive Correct. spidey sense, I guess, right, that you, you, Correct. you come to either have naturally or learn on the job. Correct. And, and, and it's just real important for people to understand that aspect of it, that it's not going to pick up the small inflections, the small things that we see that we need to act mm-hmm. on right away. But overall, I, I think it's, it's a good thing. What's the most dangerous situation you've ever found yourself in? being shot at have you really <laughs> what happened? absolutely um young man was upset with uh his girlfriend and uh she was at another individual's home and we were taking the report and he decided to come back and shoot into the house so Whoa. we got out of the house and he continued to shoot at us so speaking of that should uh, senator smith uh, step down what are your thoughts well, my thoughts are first of all we have a we're a nation ba- built on laws and one of those uh is that you're not proven guilty until you're innocent and so uh, like Chief West was saying you know people jump to and think they formulate opinion based upon before they get all the facts and that's why we have a a justice system so I you know before anything happens I think that justice system needs to uh, work its way through the process and uh, you know so I'll leave it between uh, Senator Smith and his constituents and what his next move should be or will be uh, obviously, if he feels uh, he, sh- he won't be able to serve his constituents, you know, I think he's, a, a, at the end of the day, a, a very good person, and, uh, you know, we'll make that decision. Thank you very, very much, both of you, for being here in Thank person. Thank you for having us. And be safe and travel Thank you. safely. Thank you so much. And, well, you know, you're around all summer, so stop in more I, I will. We'd love to have you. I will. Thank Coffee you. Coffee and pie is on us. Uh,